Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael and we are continuing our adventure as the Ozean Star Empire. So, um, let's start the game now. Okay, so we are currently uh, building the Neutronium Giga Forge and the uh, technology secured. And the uh, matter decompressor over here, yes. Um, okay, we have some technologies. We have unlocked Star Fortress reactors. Um, what is that? Spatial distortion warhead. Alright, you know what? Let's actually start the this special project about uh, the battleship design. Yes, I think that, that's what it was. The precursor reimagination. Um, okay, we are still se selling all of our slaves from these planets. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay, um, we have unlocked the improved shard thrower. Oh, look at that, wait, ascension theory, I want to get this technolo technology, yes, th let's choose it. Um, and let's go for the spatial distortion warhead, I guess. Okay, low stability, I know. We are now exceeding our naval capacity. It used to be a lot larger than I remember. Used to have more naval capacity, I remember. Yeah, what happened? Okay, I don't know anymore what's going on in this game, to be honest. Like, look at the mess that we just created. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I want to get some more influence. Uh, because we have some planets that... We, that and that, that on which there are currently like some Olyserian pops living on it that somehow got there. I don't know how. And you know what, we can gain more influence by finishing, for example, the first contact procedures that we have over here. So let's send an envoy to the Upsilon Menace and let's also send an envoy over here. Um, okay, I can, that's, I'm going to send Mikab. Alright. And there we go, we have researched uh, the Ascension Theory uh, technology. Um, oh, what is that? Unlocks colonization, fractured world. Okay, so we can now colonize these like uh, anomalous planets. Yes, that's really nice. Okay, so we now acquired the Ascension Theory technology and now let's choose the... Okay, this we can now choose the Galactic Ascendancy Ascension perk, and that means that we can become an Ascended Empire. Yeah, I wanted to do, to do this since the beginning of this playthrough, and finally we are able to actually accomplish this goal. So just let's go and pick Galactic Ascendancy. Birth of a Galactic Ascendancy, and thus an Ascended Empire is born. From the day our ancestors only our prime first gaze upon the stars, our great species has made incredible advances in technology and from our humble beginnings we have evolved into a thriving stellar empire, far exceeding our initial hopes. Despite constructs, constant struggles from our survival, our authoritarian rule has eventually brought us to the zenith of civilization. Right now across the galaxy, Xenos are yet uncertain what to make of our society and our way of life. This has been our destiny. Okay, our time has come. And finally, we are now an, an Ascended Empire. Yes. I think we get a, got a special project of some kind, the Zenith of Fallen Empires. Okay, there we go. Let's... Okay, we are busy, busy with physics at the moment. We are uh, unlocking the new precursor designs. So let's just go for engineering perfection now. All right. Okay, so looks like we have rebuilt all of the uh, mining stations in, in this region. So um, let's assign a scientist, scientist to this uh, science ship. Yes. All right. And now, uh, let's survey all of these uh, systems over here, yeah. So we'll go over here. Survey system and... Alright, there we go. 
Mm. Oh, what is that poverty? The gap between the rich and the poor are widening in the innovative combine of baggy wheat with the living standards falling in welfare cut due to their austerity measures. The state could soon find itself on the wrong side of its people with the financial inst institutions taking full advantage advantage of a destabilized and much weakened government. We could help the poorest begibratories on their feet again with a sizable donation of credits. It could go a long way in alleviating some of the primitive suffering and also ensure the loyalty of the government remains uh, with us. Okay, let's send those credits. I mean, I'm not surprised when you're purging all of your citizens, like you can use them as slaves just like us to have a better economy. Duh, like... You guys are stupid. Um, okay, and since we're talking about slaves, I'm selling more of them right now. Okay, and we can choose a tradition again. That was quick. Um, let's go for the a state of control. Oh, and they've, yeah, we also have a yet another free ascension perk slot. I don't notice that. Okay, let's see. Um... Um, let's go for the Colossus project. Yes, yeah, so we can uh, make uh, We can get planet planet killer weapons. Yeah, I think that's really cool Okay, we get a special project about the Colossus Okay, maybe we're going to investigate it soon perhaps Homeward of the Asinine. Okay, so we are starting we are continuing the the last archaeological site about the Asinine civilization. Yes, I think that's the last one. A basement. A basement has been uncovered inside a building in the capital city. Our scientists argue that the basement is some sort of shelter and that, and that it had been used as the very last base of operation for the Asinine government. Useful information might be inside. Alright, let's see what's hiding on, on their homeworld. Yeah. Infrastructure recovery. Infra infrastructure recovery has been suboptimal at the Galactic Ending Protectorate, even for standards one would expect, expect of a primitive empire. Due to deficiencies in their mining operations, they were slow to recover from past wars of natural or natural disasters. Rebuilding works on planets are halted frequently, frequently and sometimes indef indefinitely due to the lack of minerals. In contrast, our superior mining facilities enabled us to extract more minerals in one day than their pitiful ma machines in a month. Okay, let's send them some minerals so they can be so their empire can be stable. Oh no! A new development. The Royal Worlds of Telfkine has completed the research for dark matter power. Look at that. They can now use dark matter. Oh no. And an archaeological site. Um, at Doom's Gate. The archaeological expedition has made a major breakthrough. A recently discovered room turned out to house the command core, controlling computer systems around the facilities. Okay, a major fire fight clearly took place here, and out of the mass of neglected, neglected and destroyed computers, only a couple are still functioning. They primarily contain logs regarding a massive energy flow from something called Site Zero to the distribution network of, on the planet's surface, but there, there is also a backup transcript titled Critical Incident 05484. Okay, that's strange. Right, oh look at that, you're producing 400 alloys a month. That's really nice, that's really nice. And we're going to produce even more once we finish the Neutronium Gigaforge. Yes. Special project complete. Engineering perfection achieved. With our engineering skills perfected, all technical permits are eradicated as we create perfect structures that stand the test of time. May our legacy stand for millennia to come. Okay, we gain technology a technology of some secure. kind. Engineering perfection. Oh, look at that. This increases our mega structure build speed. Fantastic. Okay, so. Okay, we have restored the greatest hall. And in just nine months, we're going to finish the Alpha Project Precursor Engineering Technology. Finally. Um, okay, where is this thing? I think it's. No. Is this plant over here? Yeah. Look at that. We have the greatest hall. And we now get more influence 
from this, yeah. Look at that, we are producing six influence units on this planet. That's wonderful. So let's maybe start some more uh, special projects from the Zenith of Fallen Empires. Um, let's see, let's do something related to... Um, to society. The society department, yes. Um, okay, research. Wait, why, why are our borders open to everyone? Okay, so looks like... Uh, they have everyone has opened their borders, but we still we still have our borders closed. Huh, okay, that's actually really good. Good, yeah. All right. I really like this. Uh, I really like being an ascendant empire, and also our opinion has increased. Uh, yeah, look at that. We have now positive relations. With Relations with, with like a lot of empires in this galaxy. That was I wasn't expecting this to be honest Okay, okay, they are they are a exception apparently And fa Fantastic we have we've built the net new training giga forge hub um, our engineers have finished building the central hub of the new training giga forge above uh, zone lab this huge complex contain, contains a vast amount of refineries and various uh, mineral processing centers to help in harvesting minerals mat materials from the neutron star below. Right now it is producing some alloys as well as engineering and physics research thanks to the to integrated labs, but no neutronium can be harvested yet. We shall now begin constructing the processing ring which will house much more specialized facilities to refine neutronium extracted from the star. Okay, how many alloys are we producing? 93. Okay, oh, we can actually produce some more due to all of the uh, modifiers. Alright, let's now build uh, the Giga Forge processing ring. Yes. Look at that, 500 alloys a month. This is so beautiful. Yes. Finally, we can we can have enough alloys in this game. <laughs> we also finished building ma the matter decompressor anchor to extract matter from Gunkoch's uh, singularity. We first need a secure base to build the facility on. The anchor has been built on the very edge of the event horizon and is held in place against the immense gravitational pull by an advanced gravity redirection engine, which turns Gunkoch's singularity owns gravity against it. All right, fantastic. Um, wait. Oh, we don't have enough alloys. Um, shit. Okay, so we are, we are producing 500 minerals from this thing. We're getting 500 minerals, yes. So we you know what, let's buy again some alloys from our fallen empire friends. Wait, can we do that? Um... Wait, they are suddenly dismissive. Why is that? Hey, do you want to give us some alloys, perhaps? Okay, we can still trade with the weird silver bl blob people. Um, offer trade deal alloys. Okay, this should be enough. We can. We're going to get fifty thousand alloys. Yes, uh, that's really a lot. Um, okay, let's confirm. Oh, we got an archaeological site at Doom's Gate. The stone storage. Uh, the archaeological team found reports new find findings some distance away from the main working areas. Rathana found a collection of stone tablets. The stone itself appears to be produced from the depths of Zone Telep 4, and the script on the tablet seems to have been written during the time when the facility was still operational, yet the language on most of them is completely different from what we found in the rest of the site and is undecipherable to us. What little there is written in the language of the site operators is rambling and borderline incompre incomprehensible, alluding to some something called Talnekrek. What is that? 
have no idea. Strangely, there is no sign of fighting in the room, yet many stones are covered with excessive amounts of dried blood. Some of it is estimated to date back to decades, decades before the fall of the facility. Alright. Alpha project report. Okay, so we have finished uh, researching the this technology. Uh, yes. Mm, okay, we will get back to this in a moment. Alpha project report. After extensive analysis of the precursor's history of the designs, materials, and components. Special project complete. Uh, Later perfection, the arts of highly generation. Okay, so it's the same thing, I guess. Yeah. We move closer to our goals. Yes. Galactic ambitions completed. We have developed new tools and organizational structures in our government for the explicit purpose of expanding our influence in the galaxy. To that end, we have developed a unity ambition called um, Punishment Protocols for Lesser Impudent Empires in Need of a Beating. <laughs> oh, all right. Techn okay, we have gained technologies, ambition of power, and improved Colossus holes. Okay, Colossus health points. Okay, let's see, what do we have now? Um, what is that? The Abyss Mine. So I think it's for this unique world over here, the Abyss. Yeah, alright. Let's research this. They accepted the trade deal. And now we have some... Now we get some new ambitions. Alright, ambitions of power, fantastic. And there we go. Okay, so I think we have finally reached this moment in the game. We, we are basically rich, we are so opulent that we can increase our living standards of our uh, founder, founding, founder species, the Olizarians. So let's uh, switch our living standards from decent conditions to the Utopian Abundance. Yes. Alright, let's go. There we go. We have changed our living standards. So yeah, our we are living in complete luxury right now. Yeah. I hope this won't. Okay, we have we have started to lose some Technology consumer goods, but it's not really that bad. So yeah, we have a decent stockpile of them, anyways. Um, have unlocked the abyss. The abyss mine. Uh, yes. Okay, um, let's perhaps unlock the uh, planetary drive yards. Broken clock, out of time. Our observers report a most bizarre occurrence today. It seems that the... Wait. The Rakan horse had vanished overnight. It's not clear what ha what was the cause of such turn of events, but it's likely that whatever temporal event brought them here has been reverted or failed. If it was not for the trail of destruction they left in their wake, it'd be as if they never have existed. The space they once occupied does not appear to be complete, completely empty, however, those few who survived the purges have reclaimed their worlds and are already make and are, and are ready to make their bid for a future as a galactic power. Technology secured. What? Um, what is that? End of the essential com combine. So a new empire just emerged over here, the Pricky Empire. Huh, alright, that was really strange. I mean, yeah, I knew that this thing would happen. Because it's uh, one of the events from the More Events mod. Basically, an empire sp spawns the broken clock system and they just go away because it's a... Um, a temporal anomaly. Oh, wait, what is that? Allow us to terraform worlds to Gaia planets. Okay, this is really cool. We need to get this technology. And after that, I think we're going to terraform, terraform all of our planets to Gaia worlds. Yes. That is so... That is so fantastic and just cool. Okay, I need to learn some new words. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, we have co really come far in this game like look at us we are com we are living in full luxury we are uh, we are the strongest power in the galaxy and we can now terraform planets in the gaia worlds like we're doing uh, so so much stuff all we've done already so much in this game yeah 
Okay, so um, we have to, can now terraform our plants to Gaia world. So Technology let's do that now. Okay, let's terraform Rethan one first. Um, and look at that Gaia world. Okay. Decision. Okay, terraform. Wait, what? Can, we can't terraform this planet. Okay, that's strange. Okay, so I guess that's it. We are terraforming Rethan one and Hefenir four, and these two planets will soon uh, turn into uh, beautiful Gaia worlds. Okay, we have unlocked the Titanic Ring World. Mm. Let's now go for the Delta Afterburners. Alright. At Doom's Gate, unfathomable, unfathomable depths. As they descend into the heart of the alien facility, Rathana and her team encounter more and more things that don't make sense. Several rooms appear to be filled with an energy field of some sort, invisible to most sensors. It makes any object that enters the room vanish into thin air. Oh, that's... That's kind of cool. Additionally, a spherical pockets of radiation just float about in space, defying all laws of nuclear physics. The remains of the facility personnel are found more and more sparsely. On the other hand, the walls are no longer a familiar blend of alloys and polymers, but now closely resemble fossilized flesh. What the hell? That's... that's really gross. Some further information can be gleaned from the surviving computer terminals. The facility was built above the naturally occurring dimensional rift in Zone Clef for Forth's crust. Its purpose was to research the unusual nature of the pocket universe on the other side and channel energy from it for their empire's needs. However, the realm they connected to was not as empty as they thought, and something unfriendly flowed through with the energy flow. Wait, what? They. A parallel, parallel universe. No, a pocket universe. Alright. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> Look at all of those, all of these notifications. Homeward of the Astonine, fight for freedom. The records stored in the basement show, shows that the government and the rebels fought for quite a long time on this planet. The rebels... The rebels built a permanent, permanent residence on a corner of the star system to prepare for prolonged battles using most of their resources. We want freedom, we want the truth, not just holograms. Shouting their slogan, the rebels fought hundreds of battles against the government forces, but eventually they ran out of resources and begin in, in being unable to keep up with the advanced holographic technologies didn't help. Twenty years after the war began, the rebels were finally eliminate, eliminated by the government's fleet. This is the last information we can get. We need to look for the basement to find more details. Details. So the habitat was originally owned by the rebels. Okay, so it's not like their capital, or so it's not like the original capital of uh, of the of the Astain Empire. Okay, and we also built the. Neutronium Giga Forge Processing Ring. Alright, let's have a look at this. Okay, we now produce 188 alloys. And this is the final stage of the Giga Forge. So yeah, let's uh, finish upgrading this mega structure. Alright, and let's have a look at our matter decompressor. We will finish it in approximately like two years. Okay, we've gained we've gained an L gate inside. All right, let's unlock the Q tensor cannon now. All right, um, and I think we've also had the. Yeah, we can now research the Colossus project. So let's do that, and we're going. I think we also have a ruined Colossus, somewhere. Um, hold on, mega structures. Okay, mega structure list. There we go. Wreck Juggernaut. With Nexus. Um, yeah, we have a wrecked Colossus in the Kickle system. Okay, it's over here. Um, yeah, look at that. We can actually just restore it. We don't. We need to build it. Yeah. 
Um, the gun pointed at the head of the universe, leading scientists across all conceivable fields have at last finalized their proposals for the planned killer class weapon that will arm our first Colossus type ships. Uh, we may select one proposal to develop alongside the final stages of the Colossus project. Um, should we go for the world, world cracker or the neutron sweep? An accelerated plume of neutron radiation paints the planet's surface, se severely degrading most materials and not directly destroying biological tissue. I don't know. I never, to be honest, I never built the Colossus, so that's like my first time to doing this. Um, I think the neutrons. Should we choose the neutron sweeper? But I think the world cracker is way cooler than this. Okay, let's go for the world cracker. Hell yeah. Long road ahead. We have made some progress on the precursor design, but it's not yet completed. Wait, what? Fortunately, we still have some time to refine our designs before the prototype is, be is becoming too unstable. Um, what the hell? Insane allocation. You know what, no, I don't want to do this anymore. This is ridiculous. Okay, I have to be honest. I really like the Ancient Cache of Technologies mod, like it adds a lot of cool stuff, but like the, the process of gaining designs and technologies, it's, it's really ridiculous. Like it's such a pain in the ass, it's so difficult. So yeah, I mean the mod is cool, but I just uh, hate this whole process of getting stuff in it. Yeah. I think actually Zenith of Fallen Empire has a better progression when it comes to it. When it comes to like getting new new Fallen Empire technologies and stuff, yeah. Special project complete. Okay, we have completed the Colossus project. Um Okay, we gain a technology. Okay, whatever we're going to research it uh, soon. And you know what? Let's restore this Colossus now. Yeah. Okay, restored Colossus. We only need to pay. Uh, we only need to give uh, five thousand alloys. All right, there we go. Okay, we can now create Utopian Worlds. Yes, uh, that's the thing apparently. Okay, um, I don't know, let's enable auto research again. And let's do some more spe special projects. Yes, we have a lot of them right now. Um, okay, mega structure list. Uh, wait, no, that's what it wants. Okay, let's go for automated industries. Yes. Technology secured. At Doom's Gate, uh, Site Zero, the archaeological team has made its way to the deepest levels of the facility. They are now standing at the bottom of it, right above a massive cavern called Site Zero. The regular te technology of the facility, built all out of metal and plastics, has given way to strangled jacked rocks resembling teeth or claws of gargantuan beasts. The pillars of strange organic texture try to reach the hatch in the roof leading to the rest of the facility but are cut off just a few meters short. Um, a massive pillar, a massive pile of charred uh, corpses cover, covers the cavern floor. Rathana concluded that a squad of elite soldiers was once entered the space and descended into, into the caverns, then re-emerged and moved onwards towards a different segment of the facility. What do you want? Get out. Okay, let's follow this trail. We get two technologies, master miners. Um, okay, let's go for the abyss mine and over here. what do we have over here? Okay, whatever. And finally, we have finished the Neutronium Gigaforge. Let's have a look at it. Okay, it's over here. 
and there we go this mega structure will now produce a lot lots and lots of alloys for us wonderful we get an achievement amalgamation foundry and there we go 525 alloys fantastic okay the abyss beginning good news the mine that can extract minerals from the abyss has been successfully completed for for now only the deposits lying close to the service are exploited but by developing our technologies we'll be able to reach, to reach deeper all right so this is wait no this is the abyss uh, technology secured unique world yes uh, let's get you the governor all right Okay, so I think let's maybe uh, build some mining districts over here since this whole planet we're basically turning into in, it into a mine of some kind, yeah. Oh, what? Okay, what do you want? We are re renegotiating the bad deal between us. It is very bad. You are killing our jobs, our economy, and you're taking advantage of us. You're the one. Who actually sabotage your own economy? Like, why are you killing all of those pops? You get everything you need while we we get no help on uh, on our rivals. Not fair. This has to stop. And believe me, I will make our country great again. And you will pay for it. On behalf of my people, I have drafted a new deal. Sign it. What do you want? Um, who do you think you're talking to? Let's. Take that take out that leader, I guess. Um, Technology secured. Improved gear cannons, alright. Let's go for the abyss mine again. Like what kind of deal are you even talking about? Like you haven't showed it to me. So like I don't know what's I don't know what's the problem here. Let's have a look at their empire again. Like, do you see this? They have killed all of their alien pops and they are wondering why their, why their economy just sucks. Like, you could use them as potential slaves and they, they could produce resources for you. Like, come on, don't be so stupid. Don't be dumb. Um, and, you know, let's, uh, let's uh, choose the first fleet and you're going to eliminate the pirate fleet in this system and after that maybe let's get rid of this dreadnought in over here yeah finally we have found the curators greetings star travelers we are the curators our ancient order was established years ago by various galactic pirates in ascendancy at the time we are dedicated towards preservation of all knowledge and an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass, of mass extinctions and barbarism. We failed. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred missions than our predece predecessors were. We are willing to share some of our knowledge with you for a prize. Okay, fantastic. Fine, we've met the uh, curators. Okay, we have finished an archaeological site. At the Doom's Gate, the Malign cap Capacitor, secured. the final destination of the Elite Squad who sent sent we picked up at Site Zero was not that far away. The locks found under par armor give some further clarity to the situation, I being they called Tal Talnekrek, sent one of its offsprings into, into the facility where it's subtly Influence the personal demonic sac is demonic sacrifice to nourish itself and its parents. Oh, okay. oh wow. <laughs> okay. Over time, Talnek Crack itself has beached, has beached through, killing some of the facility personnel and mutating others at great cost. The portal wa was collapsed. Okay. Um. Should should we get this relic? You know what? Let's. Let's take it with us, why not? Okay, we, ha we can now build the dark shopping malls. <laughs> Alright. Um, there we go, and a tradition again. 
let's now choose the plant pro procreation uh, tradition. All, all right, this will increase our pop growth speed. And an ascension perk again. Okay. Let's see this relic. What? What is its purpose? Malign capacitor. Okay, so it's just um, gives gives us some energy credits, and it can summon a spectral worm to serve us. Oh, that's really cool. The spectral worm possesses powerful weapons, but it's very frail for its size. Okay. Well, and we can also activate the, the communication cube. So let's do that. Let's purchase uh, improvements. This time, let's go for the economy. Um, let's see. Should we go for minerals? Okay, let's do that. Okay, and we can't purchase anything else, All right? Okay, fine, we have restored the wrecked colossus. Wonderful. Alright, let's see the design. Here we go, the world cracker. Alright, fantastic. Have some large super supercharged hyper shields, okay. We can slightly modify the design though. And you know what I was thinking uh, about building a yet another mega structure and perhaps maybe we, sh we should build our own Ehov. So let's just build it um, over here. Hold on. Okay, let's. Okay, I will use the jump drive and we'll, you're going to build the Event Horizon facility over here. In the Mountain of Nightmares. Okay, there you go. By the way, I was also thinking about this. Um, should we colonize the planetary computer in this system? Yeah. Because not, not gonna it would be really cool to have a colony like that in our empire since we are so focused on technology and innovation. Our habitable Habitability is kind of low on this uh, planet. Yeah, but anyways, it still would be really cool to have a colony like this. Uh, we get some research districts, um, research, research laboratories, administrative nodes, and this uh, planetary computer has a uh, reuse modifier. This is the physics re research from all of the categories by 100%. Yeah, so like. We could, uh, so if we could use this colony to, to be to boost our research even further. Okay. Um, focus arc emitters. Oh, what is that? The neutron sweep. Okay, so we get to unlock this te technology, anyways. All right. Uh, let's go for the neutron sweeping then. And they were declaration, all right. Oh, there, there are also some red titans in this system. I did not know. I never noticed that. Okay, we have unlocked the neutron sweep and the Herculean sweep as well. All right. Um, I think we should start uh, researching this last alpha project technology, precursor experiments. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to take us 101 months, so it's kind of... So we need to wait uh, a really long time, several years, I think. But it's still worth it. And our colonies have been terraformed into Gaia worlds. Look at that. That's wonderful. Alright, there we go. Wait, are you serious right now? <laughs> the drums of war. <laughs> Wait, how is that even possible? It's like, it's the end game already, I think. Yeah. That is so strange. 
So finally the Khan has appeared. We've been preparing for this for a really long time. You know what? Alright, your feats are very weak. Let's um grab all of uh, those free all of these free free fleets over here. Okay, you're still up green, but I don't care. Um you will uh, travel to their territory. There we go. And you will defeat the Khan. You're going to defeat the Khan, yes. Okay, this should be quick, I think. And I'm pretty sure that the authority is uh, more pre is way more prepared now uh, to defeat the Khan than they used to be. Technology like, secure. look at their feats over here. 30k, 50k, 40k. Yeah, they should be fine. Okay. Do research, I guess. Okay, look at that. A question of style. Blueprints, technical data for these elegant because the designs can be obtained through various covert operations spanning several years. So that means we can uh, get the precursor designs without having to do all of these ridiculous projects from the ancient cache of technologies. So yeah, I, I think it's worth it. Let's research the this special project over here. Yes. Okay, we can choose a new tradition. Let's um, let's go for monumentality. Yes. Okay, we still have a free ascension perk slot. Oh, we can choose the Giga Structural Constructs Ascension Pack. This will unlock three more mega structures. The Giga Scale. Uh, yes, we will get the Ma Matryoshka brain. The H R R E M C. I don't know what that is, and they and the Behemoth Ring World. All right, let's do this. Giga structural constructs. Here we go, and there we go. We we are about to face the automated dread dreadnought now. Dreadnought is over here. Let's see the battle now. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we lost a. We lost an escort ship. Right, go. We're about to kill this thing, I think. Okay, we have disabled the dreadnought. We have managed to save the automated dreadnought in the Islamic system. The ship will sail. Oh, we can repair it! Okay, that's really, that's really cool. Yeah, we oh no, we actually yeah we lost uh, two free co free uh, es escorts and and a cruiser. Yeah. Okay, it's still not that bad though. All right, there we go. And let's activate the Ehov now. Let's choose a random star. Okay, let, let's see this now. This is actually a really cool animation. Okay, look at that. It's moving. Alright, there we go. Look, it's uh, making a wormhole over here. Okay, so this is the random star function. Um, okay, I was... So I picked the wrong thing, sorry. <laughs> Um, all right, I guess. So we need to go back to our territory somehow. Hold on. Um, oh my god, look at this. Wait, there is this roof terminus over here. Okay. So we can just go through the rift terminus and return back to our territory. That's that's a relief. I know what. Let's build a uh, science ship because uh, I'm going to. I will need to send one either way if, if I want to survey all of the systems gener generated by the Ehov. So let's see. Is there a shipyard nearby? I think it was over here. Yes. So let's build a science ship and. Um, 
you know, let's also build a shipyard over here so that we can just, you know, build uh, ships, build ships anytime we need them uh, to, you know, activate the EHOF, yes. Um, and let's also build the dark matter generator over here because why not? We need more dark, we need to produce more dark matter, obviously. Um, all right, that's it. Precursor blueprints ac acquired. After years of research and espionage, we have a list obtained the, co the complete designs and blueprints of the precursor ships and cities. Our artists have since worked day and night making suitable adjustments to these designs, awaiting the approval of Overseer Veldoner. We are ready to give every city in our empire an impressive makeover as well as any new ships currently being constructed at our shipyards. Um, our national, national colors shall be proudly displayed. Um, okay, so we get, get the precursor blueprints technology. So let's choose the... Um, our national colors, colors should be proudly displayed. All right. There we go. Okay, so looks like, looks like we have finished the the questions of style uh, special project yeah that's really nice and look at that our cities indeed look different now yeah now they look uh, they look the same uh, like the they look just like the fallen empire cities yeah that's really cool i like that change all right have a look the improved flak artilleries um Oh, all right, we have some options. We can unlock the next upgrade for the Ehof, uh, the Ehof Lambda, or we can, or we can either gain an L gate inside, or we can also, uh, we can also unlock the Behemoth Ring World. Ooh, that's also really nice. Um, but you know what? Let's maybe um, let's unlock the next upgrade of the Ehof. Uh, yes. That should be our priority now, all right. And oh, and we also have an archaeological site over here, yeah, in the Rubicon system that we just uh, surveyed. Subterranean ha uh, hollows. So, you're going to jump to this system over here, yes. And you're going to excavate this site, all right. And we have also finished uh, up upgrading the matter decompressor. Fantastic, we now produce even more minerals from it. And it's the last stage of this mega structure. Fantastic. Alright, um, they have lambda is now ours. And now, oh, what is that? Mine it. Minotaur, Minotaur, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. Cluster missiles. Oh, interesting. All right. And the Royal Worlds of Telfkind complete, have completed the, has completed the Colossus project. Hmm, all right. So we're not the only ones who have the Colossus now. We have unlocked these new armies now. The Aegis Complex. Uh, I think it's one of these uh, buildings from the Fallen Empires and we can now unlock them uh, because of the Zenith of Fallen Empires mod. Alright, that's really nice as well. Okay, there we go. By the way, how did... What is this pretty empire over here? How did they like managed to appear so they are sepa separatists apparently and that makes sense the the empire f that emerged from the broken club uh, clock <laughs> collapsed and somehow they just uh, they were like, like rebels or something so good for them they got their independence they also have some really strong feats as well Okay, I mean, they're still pathetic, but that's really nice for an AI empire, not gonna lie. Okay, now this whole area of, sp of space is empty, so now other empires have the opportunity to expand in this region, yes. And that, and by that I definitely mean the, Pricky, the new Pricky Empire. Homer of the Astenine, spreading illness. Timofuna reports that a strange sickness has been spreading among the archaeologists on Astenia. Oh no. 
that's really unfortunate for them. The first confirmed case appeared, appeared shortly after a sealed chamber was opened for the first time with a large part of the team incap incapacitated progress has been delayed. Oh no. And it looks like the construction sh ships has, ship has finally made it to the rift, so... And we are going to travel to this system, okay, and it looks like we can activate the Ehof now, yes, fantastic. Alright, I'm going to assign a leader to this science ship. So, Lathir, you're going to be the first uh, scientist to ever, um, to ever exit our, to, to ever um, conduct an, exp an expedition outside of the galaxy. Yes, that's a, that's a historical moment. Okay, let's activate the Ehof again. Cohesive stars. Yeah, I, yeah. For the first time I activated the Ehof, I pressed the random star destination, and that's why it sent our construction ship ship across the galaxy. We need to choose the cohesive stars. Okay, so let's do that. There we go, and you should now travel uh, somewhere uh, outside of the galaxy. Our uh, outside of our galaxy, yes. Guide, all right. Uh, um, the Eichhof is firing up. And my game froze. Oh my god, I... Not gonna lie, I really hate Special the end game for complete. so much. Yeah, because of the lag, mainly. Automated general observation report with the data our observation team has collected on the automated journal and its combat behavior. Our science department is positive that they will be able to replicate at least some of apparent logic behind being its combat computers adapted to our own ship designs of course i think it's supposed to be behind over here but whatever excellent we get a technology automated dreadnought combat algorithms all right okay let's ignore this for for now it's the same special project with the reactor okay so looks like our science ship uh, has finished the journey Okay, I don't know, okay, where is he now? Where is the science ship? All right, so we traveled all the way over here. It's a G-class star, we have seven planets and no habitable ones, but okay, that's still good. Um, you're going to... Wait, so we don't need to, need to survey the systems from the Oh, all right, I guess. I thought that you need you needed to survey them, but I was mistaken apparently. All right, we have we have we have unlocked the Behemoth Ring World. Fantastic. So um, let's now. Uh, I don't know. Let's increase our mega structure build speed. Yes, that's always useful. Let's see. Did we get anything interesting over here? No. Oh, what is this technology? Synthetic life from life from studies. Planetary build speed plus ten percent ship build speed. Oh, this is actually a really useful technology. The the AI made a good choice picking uh, picking it. Yeah. All right. That's really cool. So yeah, I think I should have sent a. Uh, Construction ships instead over here. Okay, whatever we're going to do that the next time. The tradition. Um, let's go for the builders of worlds. It will also increase our mega structure build speed, just like the technology that I uh, talked about before. There's a fly over here. Okay, whatever. Um, subterranean hollows. Our archaeologists have unearthed enough sections of the two black swirling hollows on Rubicon 3 to conclude that they are fo the fossilized remains of an enormous arthropod. This alien creature carbon dated to having lived some 10 million years ago. Also, it's, re it's a really ancient creature. Uh, turn it slowly throughout the crust of the planet like a bearing millipede of incredible proportions. Even more. Remarkably, many of the components embedded in magnificent creatures' fossilized remains appear to be of 
Artificial origin. All right, interesting. Okay, whatever. Um, nanobot mining. Okay, let's repair the nanobots, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Subterranean hollows. Extensive excavation of the fossilized imprints of the giant subterranean arthropod. Remains in Rubicon 3 have confir confirmed these are indeed the remnants of a city populated by hundreds of thousands of meter tall tool using creatures. This city was constructed within the very bowels of the gigantic arthropod. It is unknown how this creature found their way inside of the subterranean giant, but the pre Bronze Age society seemed to flourish for thousands of years with its digestive tract. Alright. Further, further study is required if you wish for further insight into this, this society's history and downfall and perhaps glean more about the death of their host. Okay, it's the same thing. I would say the authority also is in a fleet over here, so yeah, we should be, they should be, they should also be able to defeat the Khan. They don't really need us, I guess. Alright, there we go. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about that guys, I was not expecting this. Yeah, this is what you get when you live in a flat, I guess. Alright. Construction complete. Thank you for the noise you're making right now. That's really what I needed today. Okay, we're attacking it under system of theirs. Not good I'm you know what I'm pretty sure that the noise that the na that the people upstairs are making with their uh, drill or something, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty sh it's much more tolerable than my audio in the first episodes of this season so I think it should be fine yeah I just thought about that um, okay we have destroyed this system now so now we are heading over here it looks like the authority is also at attacking them so if somehow people managed to tolerate my audio in the beginnings of this season then I'm pretty sure they're going to handle some guy uh, during their walls in the background yeah Subterranean Hallows, the host. Okay, we have already finished this archaeological site. That was quick, and yet another one is, is coming. Okay, let's see. The host, after painstaking analysis of a large number of fossils and a few miraculous finds of early writing, our archaeologists have reached a, a conclusion regarding the relationship between the primitive civilization and on Rubicon 3 and the gigantic arthropod that was home to them. While the steady wheelers were largely resistant. All right, um, the citizens launched a magnificent war aim, arming every member of the city in an attempt to destroy the creature. But was all for not determined. The... Oh my god. Okay, so basically, this whole civilization got digested by this creature. <laughs> Technology and we gain the hostile environment adaptation technology. Okay, I see what you did there. Um, and we have also researched something. Uh, okay, this. Let's now go for the sup supra titanic habitat stabilization systems. Okay. Oh, so that's it. There isn't really an a second archaeological site. Okay, all right, we have entered this system over here. They have a lot of like uh, void dwellings over here. Okay, let's see our fit in action. That's all right, the normal speed. Okay, control of nine. Okay, that is a nice. Wait, what the hell is that? Okay, so these are their armies or something, I think. That looks really cool, and like they are spinning in a circle. Oh my god, sorry that my game is so laggy, guys. Alright. They are now fighting their fleets. I think we lost the destroyer, but it's 
It's not really that big of a deal. Look at that. Yeah, that is really cool, not gonna lie, yeah. All of these lasers and this and the sun is shining in the background and this star, yes. Alright, so we can use the Ehof again. So this time let's actually send a construction ship so we can claim some systems outside of our galaxy. Um okay, there it is. And after that I'm going to upgrade the Ehof. Yes, um here it is. Okay, so you're going to enter this system. Okay, move over here. Alright, so we have now entered this system over here. Wait. Oh, this could also be a really nice battle footage. Special project complete. We have repaired the dreadnought. That's really nice, okay. Wait, why aren't you fighting this? Okay, I think you are okay, whatever. Okay, look at that. All of those lasers are shiny. Six hour ships are speaking over here. We are destroying this world void dwelling. And we have completely obliterated this fleet as well. Okay, let's see this now. Okay, where are we going now? Okay, we are fighting the Galleon. Oh, two Galleons actually. There are also some Void Dwellings. That is really satisfying, watching them, you know, like, explode. It's really fun. Okay, so, um, let's launch the Ehof now. Okay, activate. Cohesive stars. It should be firing up now. And yeah, we have uh, now restored this dreadnought over here. Let's have a look at it. Okay, not bad. Not gonna lie, I wish that I could replace all of those really out outdated technologies and, and equip this ship with uh, our dark matter weapons. Yeah, that could have been uh, re really neat, but I don't think we're actually able to do this. Alright, I think we're done with this system now. Yeah, we are now heading over here. And look at that. Um, oh yeah, actually we do need to survey the, these systems. Looks like it was a good choice after all to uh, send this science ship. Okay, so you're going to uh, build all of the, uh, the mining station of, over here. And we... Oh, look at that. It's have already built a starbase over here that's really nice okay um, and you're going to survey this system now and this time we get some habitable planets look at that a Gaia world and an ocean world as well and the, and this guy world has a really nice size and like 25 all right that's that's really nice Enigmatic pattern. Wait, what is that? Um, okay, so it's uh, so it's something related to this uh, science ship. Great Khan meets defeat, and 
Looks like we have killed the Khan. When, mother, when the armada she was commanding was lost in battle against forces belonging to the Rosarian's Empire, the Great Khan and her closest officer fled into hyperspace in a small shuttercraft. Okay, so they're not dead. And what is that? Enigmatic pattern. Uh, let's see, we've received strange reports. Oh, um, during routine investigations with, within Afkro, which means this system. The ship was hit by intense flash of energy, the, the ship's propul propulsion drive collapsed and it laid dormant for exactly 6 hours. Thankfully the secondary power core did not get damaged and activated shortly after the energy flash, uh, securing life support system of the ice attack. Um, bizarre events begin began to take place. Mm. Alright, wait, what's... This thing is just, they, there's nothing going on over here, look, I mean, okay, there is a sentence, the enigmatic patterns have not manifested since and the ship's log has no re, has no what? Wait, is that a glitch of some kind? Apparently we get a special project, um, enigmatic pattern. Okay, let's research this thing, I'm curious. Oh, what's that? Resource discovered. We have discovered the process of quasi-negative mass. Uh, Alright. So yeah, it's the same resource that the Ehof uh, is producing, yes. And I was supposed to upgrade the, the mega structure, yes. I forgot about that, so let's do that now. Okay, it's going to take 500 days, which means like uh, approximately like a year. And a couple of months, yeah. And finally, we have finished upgrade. We are now done with the matter decompressor. Fantastic, that's wonderful. And we also got an achievement black hole acquisition one. All mega structures produce plus 5% minerals. All right, that's really great. Okay, let's have a look at it now. We are now producing 2000 and, and 100 minerals from this thing. Okay, look at it. It's, it's um, extracting matter from this uh, black hole, I think it's matter, I don't know. And we have reached the year uh, 2420, so I think it, this is the right moment to actually end this episode. So if you enjoyed watching this uh, video, you can uh, click the like button and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Uh, and if you want to see the rest of this series, you can click the playlist on the end screen or use uh, the link in the description down below. So anyways, if you want to see what happens next and if you want to see me fight the endgame crisis, which is going to appear soon, uh, that's what I think, yes, uh, then uh, I'm going to see you and then I will see you in the next uh, episode. So yeah, I hope you have a nice day and uh, goodbye.